2023 was a momentous year for Intel. The company launched new processors, ramped AI products for businesses and consumers, expanded Intel Foundry services, and continued a worldwide factory build-out, the most ambitious in its 55-year history. Here's a look at some of Intel's 2023 milestones. Welcome. Today, our biggest launch of the year. Intel just wrapped one of its biggest product launches, one that will bring AI everywhere. Intel Core Ultra processors built on the Intel 4 process node will usher in the age of the AI PC by bringing AI smarts to consumers. And fifth gen Intel Xeon processors will power AI workloads from the data center to the cloud and the edge. Those launches capped off a year that began with the introduction of the 13th gen Intel Core processors with 300 design wins out of the gate. Gamers and creators celebrated the arrival of the Intel Core 14th Gen desktop processors, chips offering faster cores and more overclocking features. Plus, Intel delivered Arc Discrete desktop graphics, offering better price performance value over the competition and continued software optimization. While 5th Gen Xeon was just announced, 4th Gen Xeon processors gained quick success after their January debut. To date, Intel has shipped more than 1 million 4th Gen Xeons to customers and is on track to ship more than 2 million by the end of the year. Intel continued its focus on AI this year. Among the highlights, it created the first AI PC acceleration program for software developers to help enable AI features on more than 100 million PCs. MLPerf benchmarking results showed Intel's Gaudi 2 accelerators 4th Gen Xeon Scalable Processors, and the Intel Data Center GPU Max Series challenging competitor NVIDIA in AI. Intel also showed that it powers some of the most powerful computers on Earth. A new Intel Xeon and GPU Max Series-based machine is the fastest AI supercomputer in the UK. It will use AI to tackle academic and industrial challenges. Intel Foundry services continue to make great progress, drawing broad customer and partner interest. Among the wins, Intel Foundry services will partner with Tower Semiconductor to serve its customers, and Intel and ARM inked an agreement for chip designers to build on Intel's upcoming 18A manufacturing process. Ericsson agreed to use Intel's 18A technology for next-gen 5G infrastructure and Synopsys agreed to develop a portfolio of IP on Intel 3 and Intel 18A for Intel's Foundry customers. Additionally, two defense companies, Boeing and Northrop Grumman, will join the growing roster of Intel 18A customers. Intel is investing more than $100 billion in pursuit of new customers, new markets, and a globally balanced supply chain. The company continued its worldwide manufacturing build-out with major expansions or new factories across North America, Asia, and Europe. In Europe, Fab 34 in Ireland opened, a milestone in Intel's goal to achieve chip production on five process nodes in four years. Plus, Intel announced Poland will be the site of its newest assembly and test factory. The company's expansion across Europe is possible thanks to government support. The European Commission overwhelmingly passed a CHIPS Act similar to the one in the U.S. to support semiconductor investments. Intel continued its drive for efficiency and its commitment to be great allocators of capital while innovatively unlocking value for stakeholders. To streamline its operations, Intel is pivoting to an internal foundry model. Intel also announced its Programmable Solutions Group will operate as a standalone business in 2024. And it brought on other chip makers as investors in its IMS nanofabrication business. One key to Intel's future success will be much stronger ties to customers, industry partners, and developers. Hey, so excited to be back. In September at Intel Innovation, CEO Pat Gelsinger introduced the developer community to the Siliconomy, the fast-rising global silicon-based economy. Gelsinger underscored that the Siliconomy, powered by AI, offers developers massive new opportunities. Chief Technology Officer Greg Lavender then presented Intel's software-defined silicon approach, built on openness, choice, trust, and security. 
And at this year's Vision Global Tour events, Intel leaders connected with thousands of customers and partners. Intel's invention and execution machine moved full speed ahead in 2023. The company's plan to rapidly launch five process nodes in four years is on track and delivering results, with Intel 7 and Intel 4 in market, and Intel 3, 20A, and 18A all on track. Intel's industry-leading plan to introduce glass substrates and its new backside power solution called PowerVIA will help keep the Moore's Law metronome ticking. Finally, 2023 was the year we said goodbye to Gordon Moore, co-founder of Intel and a giant of the technology industry. Moore died in March. He was 94 years old. Gordon was best known for formulating Moore's Law, his 1965 prediction that the number of transistors on a chip would roughly double every two years. As Intel's 120,000 plus employees look ahead to 2024, we are focused. We are optimistic. We believe that pursuing Gordon Moore's prediction from 58 years ago still holds great promise for Intel and for the people around the world whom our technology serves.